Hi guys. Let me uncricket this. I don't know why David's phone's been cricket lately. That's so weird. You guys must be bored. Why I are you know. On? What are you guys doing? It's already 1030 at night. <laughs> uh, can you tell? I'm so excited that he's getting to my painting. <laughs> excited the Vasquez family Mike hi Mike Mike's awake headed to work bored before work we're excited Pancho Barajas hey brother Pancho <laughs> I'm gonna bring it down a little bit guys that way you guys bring it back a little bit Guys, I would never, never before would I have let or ever let him paint in my in my dining room, but we don't have a painting room. <laughs> we don't have a studio or anything. So I'm actually gonna clear out that whole corner where he's at. I'm gonna take out that shelf that's behind there and I'm actually gonna make it like a whole studio area for him. And this is what he's trying. He's actually, what are you doing right now, babe? I'm just painting the sky. I didn't, this blue was just the primer. So I don't like that blue. This is the blue I like. I was just using that to underneath. See, now I'm leaving these blue dark yeah. streaks. That's why I painted it dark mm -hmm. to leave these streaks. Yep. To look like, like clouds, I guess. Yeah, see, and this is the picture right there. <clears throat> I took, I took this picture a long time ago when I first moved here. I don't know if you guys can see it really close up. Um, there's actually a horse right there. He's actually having, is he's actually having, I call it the meeting because he's actually, you can actually see it better on my phone. I'm gonna show it to you guys on my phone. But he's actually having a meeting with all the animals, which is really, really cool. Guys, I'm, I'm painting, this is, I use acrylic paint. Acrylic dries fast compared to oil painting. Oil painting literally takes days, sometimes months to dry, if, depending on how thick you lay it, but I paint with acrylic. It's, it's water-based, but it's not watercolor, but it's water-based paint. I gotta turn it down for them to be able to see, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, so let me see if you guys can see a little bit clearer. So there's the horse right there. So the horse is there having a whole meeting there with all those animals. There's a whole bunch of animals there. So that's what he's going to be painting. So if you notice on, on the original, the sky is just blue. Yeah. But if I just do that, it won't look good on the painting. I gotta add texture to it. Um, if I just paint it blue, it won't look right. Yeah. Even though the photo doesn't have clouds, I gotta put some kind of depth in there. Or else it'll be like the whole thing's just blue. That's boring. So that's why I put that dark blue. You can, you can tell I'm, I'm leaving it, let it shine through, and that gives it depth. Because, I mean... Hi, Roseanne. If I can't make it my own, then what am I doing? <laughs> You're funny, Mike. He's like, is that the official Pastor Picasso? <laughs> uh, somebody called somebody call me Cruzito. Cruzito? Oh, my God, so really? Let out. That's Cruzito! <laughs> Pato's Locos forever. Forever? <laughs> Do your job! <laughs> How's it looking from over there? Good. I like I love I like the the streaks. I really Good? really love okay. the streaks. Yeah. Actually, from here we you can actually see them really. Come look on the camera. 
Look at that. It looks really, really good. Okay. Yeah, look. See that middle one? I don't like it. Yeah. This one is too perfect. Well, excuse me for perfection, dude. <laughs> Um, the chat keeps going away. I don't know how to keep it there. Oh, you should have turned that on. Then. I mean, it's on. Just with it. Oh, really? Okay. Just move it around. It should. Okay. Now I logged you out. So, if you're bored. What are you guys doing today? Yeah, the blue here. and the white makes a big difference. It does, huh, Roseanne? You can see it. You can kind of see, and that's what's going to happen. It's going to kind of, like, blend in. Because if you look really close into the picture, you're going to be able to to see it. I wish I wish you guys can see it in person, the picture. It's just, man, it's just beautiful, the background. So, what questions do you have? Anybody have any questions about what I'm doing? If I know what I'm doing? Any preguntas, people? What are you guys doing today? Hi, Richard. Richard, Sophia. It's Sophia. Sophia, how are you doing? How's the baby? So I ran out of paint, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix a little bit more. I'm going to go a little bit darker because if you ever look at a sky, the, the higher it gets from the earth, the darker it gets. Yeah, um, this one's a, because I do photography, so there was a while that I would actually, somebody would be like, well, I would really want this and I, and there's a bridge that I like and everything like Sister Phyllis, Sister Phyllis really wanted a picture of a specific bridge. I think it was the, the I bridge in Sacramento, right, babe? Yeah, the I street bridge. The I street Isn't bridge. That yeah, it's that one right Where's there. Where's the middle ones I picked up? No, no, no. Uh, Is that them? It's this one right here. I just got these. Today. Today. Let me see. You, and, see, you see me, but this is a small one. This one's actually canvas G clay, but yeah. Is that close enough? Yeah, that's good. And I have the original here. If you look at the original, watch, I'll show you the original. And I gotta mix this paint so I get this Prussian blue, mix it with white. That way it's not so dark. But I'm trying to go a little bit darker. That way up high, it's, it's a little, oh see, it's too light, I need more. See, that's the original there that I took. So I actually went to Sacramento and I took this one here um, and it was something that she wanted. If somebody wants something specific, then I'll go and I'll take the pictures. Um, we'll go up towards the fields, we'll go up to the mountains. If somebody wants a specific type of mountain, I'll try to look for something similar to that. I have somebody right now that wants a willow tree, a specific willow tree. So I know where there's a few willow trees, and I'm going to go look for a specific willow tree and take a picture of it. That way um, I have something to reference. Yeah, that way it allows him to reference it, and he can be able to paint it. Um, he's been able to do stuff like take old pictures, which is something um, that once in a while he is able to replicate an old, old picture. Like he has one of his of his dad when his dad, how old was your dad at that picture, honey? Like six. Yeah, his dad was six years old in this picture here. And his dad was six years old and he was able to replicate this in color. So this is the original one there. And here he is uh, replicating it in color. So he's able to take those memories and you know, and bring them back to life. You know, my mom had a picture of her sister, it was the only one little picture that she had. It was a seriously, I'm going to say the size of like my, right here, my nail. It was really tiny. It was like a really tiny, small passport picture, smaller than a passport picture. Um, and that was the only thing that my mom had left of, of her sister. And, uh, 
And so what he did is he took that picture and he was able to make a big old portrait out of her. Um, does he still make music? Who's asking? Uh, Richard Sophia. Tell that I said hello oh. from Elk Grove. Have you heard? Because um, we did, I did a Christian rap CD in 2013 that you can get it on Google Play, iTunes, whatever. It's called Dino Cult to Reach the Masses. That was a full album, 2013. But since then, um, my wife and I did a single called God is Faithful. If you look that up, Dino. And then I did another song with uh, Young Ant and AOG and my wife and Sister Sylvia mm -hmm. under House of Rest. That song is called Called Out of Darkness. But um, we're going to record some more, actually. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to read. It's not my main thing. You understand, I lived in the studio for years. Like, I would be in the studio till 6 in the morning. I would be in the studio making beats, recording, and then the sun would come up. That was my everyday life for years. So, kind of got tired. Because so I, mean, I like stacks in my pocket and cruise all night. Is that yeah, part of the song? Night, that was a good song with Boyle. I, I mean, he was a good friend. But I'm sure you know he got murdered, right? But yeah, Boyle was a, one of my best friends at that time. Brother Mike, he says that let the bidding start at 5000 for this original. It ain't happening, Brother Mike. Guess what? This is my original. <laughs> but but here is what is going to happen though. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to let him share it. Um I I did tell him that um I I want to let him make at least maybe 5 prints of this one. Um this one is very, very special to me. This is the, one of the first photographs that I actually took when I moved out here. It does have a lot of meaning. This place doesn't even exist anymore because they're actually making properties. They actually, uh, this whole land doesn't even exist there anymore. But, um, you know, I was really, really blessed and that I had the opportunity to even see this moment to do it. And I told him, I said, listen, I, this is special to me. I really want you to do this for me for my birthday. Um, and then when I, you know, when he started doing it, I said, you know, I'm, I'm definitely willing for you to, to make at least five copies and put them out there. Um, I, I want, I want five people to be definitely blessed with, with it, um, with the replicas, original replicas of them. This is that water down here. There's a little <laughs> creek. That blue reflects the, the blue in the sky. So I got to start adding that a little bit, like a hint of the blue. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. Right there, guys. It's starting it right there, and it's going to go up here. It's a little creek that goes all the way up there to where the animals are. So what I'm doing right now, again, is I'm blocking. Blocking is the first stage. You never, ever try putting details when you block. You'll just... I learned the hard way, and I used to be like... Like, I thought by doing that, I thought I had to paint that creek all perfect. And I'm just... I'm just blocking stuff, just the big shapes first. And then, as you keep doing stages, then you refine it, refine it, refine it, like a, like a camera that's out of focus and it gets clearer and clearer and clearer and clearer. That's the way you've got to paint. I used to paint the hard way, man. And I always had a, I thought I had a, if I did a tree, I thought I had to do it perfect right out the gate. And it doesn't work. It, it takes the fun out of it. It takes the creativity out of it. It's too robotic. Yeah. Um, and I think everybody has their own painting style, you know, their own ways. They hold their brush, their own ways. They stroke they own, their own ways of doing everything. So, I mean, what do you think? Is it too much streaks? Do I eliminate some of it? Yeah, there's still a lot of blue up there. Too much? Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm his second dice. <laughs> This takes a lot of paint. Usually this lasts me months. Um, this was a brand new tube before, when I started the video. Look at this. This is a $20 tube of paint. I think this is a $25, but I've had this in a while. $25, but I've had Oh, I guess. You gotta be my eyes not too close. Where is to, 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 to your right, middle right. 
Right here? Yes, right there. Right around there. Yeah, I, I actually, when we do go to Sacramento, we, I do like stopping in Elk Grove, actually, because there's a thrift shop that I love over there. <laughs> Is that um, that one brother? Uh-huh. Is he in Elk Grove? Yeah. I, I, I love going to, what's it called again, babe? Um, oh, Eco Thrift. That's not yeah. in Elk Grove. That's close. It's close to Elk Grove. Uh, it's Eco Thrift. I love that thrift store. Florin, I think? It's off of Florin, you said? Right off the Florin exit in 99. Yeah, that's cool. Florin. Whatever he said, brother. Brother or sister, is this Richard or is this Sophia? I need to know who I'm talking to because there's two names on there. Roseanne said from here it looks like clouds. <laughs> good. Yeah, that's well, a good sign. that's a good sign that we're getting there, sis. So where are you guys on? Are you bored? Are you bored? Are you at work? Are I know. You... What are you guys doing? It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday night. I know with all this, uh, I know. I love thrift stores too. Love thrift stores. There's something, there's something about um, when you find vintage things or when you find uh, just things that you know that have a okay. story to it. Yeah, it's looking good. A little bit towards the middle top. See? Right there? Yeah, middle top right there. Because I don't want to get too light because it's supposed to be darker. I know, but it's now uneven if you don't do that middle top. Right here? Keep going up, 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 up. Well, I think I'm running out of paint. Like I think you could do it with what you have. No. Right about there. Let me see. Not doing yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Now go to your right top. Here? Uh, yeah, right there. Go up, up, up. It ain't doing anything. Yes, it is, babe. You don't see it, but I do here. Um, but yeah, we like going there. But there, it, it, there's just something about vintage stuff and all of that. It just tells such an amazing story. And you know that, you know, it's, it's obviously gone through, through yeah. some stuff. Much better. It's going to dry, right? Come see over here. Why don't you come look through here? Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. It does look like clouds on the sink. I mean, on the sink. He's in her sink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does look like clouds on the, on the screen. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Because that red sink. I know. <laughs> Roseanne's talking about the sink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I need to wet my brush a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I can get. It's because Roseanne's visiting her daughter. She said her sink got plugged. Like you should try to shop heroic in Elk Grove. Good stuff. Okay, I'll check it out next time for what sure. What street is it on? Uh, what street is it on? Mike says he was watching one of your movies, Veteranos. Oh, man. Having some tea. <laughs> I think you could still get to that top right corner. Did you see it? Where? All the way. Come over here. Come right here to the to the screen. Off of Waterman. Look, you see that right there? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can get that corner there. Well, I kind of want that door still. So. Oh, you do? Okay. Well, it's supposed to get dark at the top. All right. All right. I'll put right. a little bit. I'll put a streak like this. Okay, Senor Picasso, Don Picasso. My mom says she loves going to the thrift store. It relaxes. You oh, know what? Right. Me too. Me too. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, there you go. That's good. All right. Elk, Elk Grove Boulevard, Dino Drive. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. It says Elk Grove Boulevard, Dino Drive. That's weird. <laughs> She's all that's weird. What are you doing, son? I wanted his help making the spread with these. Oh my God. My son just came down saying he wanted David's help making a spread with his chips. You see what happens? That is so funny. 
That's crazy when your kids want help making spread. <laughs> you think the, the water is white enough? Where the blue is? No, it's too blue. It doesn't look blue in there. Um, I didn't ask about the blue oh. color. Is it wide enough? Wide. Oh, wide. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I think that's good. <clears throat> I thought you said white enough. Nice. Real sad. Yeah, right? Comes down wanting spread. <laughs> you should tell him, what do you, what do you think I am, an ex felon or something? <laughs> Go make some, babe. I don't know how. Learn. How? how watch. Much, how much wait, wait. Learn without knowing. Wait, learn. Go back to one of his videos <laughs> on YouTube. He has YouTube videos on how to make spread. <laughs> okay. Uh, honey, don't you have YouTube videos on how to make spread? Yeah. That green. See how bright that green is? Yeah. So what are you going to go on to next? Well, I can't touch this until this dries. I can't do anything up here now. Okay. Because I wanted to do these bushes, but I can't. This is all wet. So now i got to work on some of the green. So tell them why you can't. So why can't you? Well, I, I want to I put all this shrubbery back here, but all the blue is still wet. So if I get brown, it'll it'll muddy up. This, it'll just mix with the brown, and we with the blue. I don't want it to mix. It'll just turn into mud, basically. So if somebody's painting, the best thing to do is just to let it dry and work on something else, right? Yeah. But yeah, I guess the green. That's a bright green. That's a pretty green. Yeah, but I gotta, um, I gotta wash this. What are they doing? Who's on? He says that the Eco Thrift here in uh, Sacramento has a line to enter, and the sign at the door says "No mask, no service." Oh really? All right. Well, that's good to know. Right? So. What? No, I'm talking to them now. So how many of you guys are working from, who's working from home? Is any of you guys working from home now? I'm gonna read from here. I'm watching with, oh, Jeremiah's watching with his own two peepers. Is he? <laughs> Where's Jeremiah from? Jeremiah, where are you located again? That's what I told him. That's what other people said, too, that he should do some painting stuff. I think he should teach some of the kids how to paint. I know I'm watching him with my own two peepers as well. He's in Pittsburgh. He's in Pittsburgh. Thank you. Huh? I don't know because he's never told us. Why hasn't he told us? I don't know. Why haven't you told us, Jeremiah? <laughs> Why haven't you told us? These are things you should be telling us. Now they're watching you eat your jalapeno popper. Better wash my brush. I made jalapeno poppers today, guys. They look delicious. These are some of my paints. These are the main ones I use. There's some I don't use in a drawer, but the ones I always use. So, green. Brand new. Babe, in, in all, in all, I know we're up really late. <laughs> in, 
in all reality, how long do you think this painting will take? Depends when I get time to do it. Do you guys want to know how, how big is this canvas, babe? I don't know. Big. Where's the ruler? I don't know. Either that corner or that corner. I'm going to duck. Brand new paint. Okay, I'll tell you guys how big this painting is. Don't put it against it. I know, babe. It's 48 inches. That thing's 48. Okay. So 48. So, so that's 48. 4 feet. Uh, let's just say right there. Right there. Right there. So probably 6 feet. By 30. 48 and 30. So what is that? I don't know. I flunk math. 48 and 30. So 70, I don't know. 70 by 48. I don't know. So that's a pretty big canvas, guys. Four feet by six feet, roughly, I guess. I don't know. Dang, this looks like mustard. This is a brand new color. I just bought this. I've never used it. But I just kind of felt like it would, um, because this green's too dark for the grass. So I remember to have this mustard color. Let's see what happens. What do you mean, let's see what happens? Let's see if it gets bright enough. No. Maybe not. Oh, wow. You work for the school, Roseanne? I'm going to try to put some brighter it's yellow. Crazy. In. Let's brighten this up. Chile rellenos, yeah. My mom makes some amazing chile rellenos. You know what? I'm gonna add a touch of white. This is what I made today, guys. Let me show you guys what I made today. So I'm gonna mix some yellow with white. Let's see what happens. I made those today. Ooh. Jalapeno. They're jalapeno cream cheese. I'm talking poppers. paint. She's talking food. But yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. Oh wow. Oh. That is bright. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. But isn't it supposed to be browner back there? Look. See, that's that's the bad thing about me sitting down when he's uh when, when he's painting, guys, I start asking too many questions. <laughs> and you should see when it goes through the ugly stage. When it goes through the ugly stage, he's like, seriously? Can you just get out of here? <laughs> and did you guys know that paintings go through an ugly, ugly stage? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You don't need a lot of water. You're making a spread, boy. Chill. There is no brown on this section. I'm not sure why you... Yeah, see. look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look at those chiles. Yummy. Those are good. What's your charger, baby? This is going to get interesting here. Why? I don't know. Tell me why. Because it slopes, it slopes down. They said it looks like an avocado color. Yeah, it does look like an avocado color. It slopes down. So this is here. This is where the magic happens. Oh, this is where the magic happens, guys. Let's see what kind of magic he's doing. So it slopes this way. Okay. I gotta send you some Bob Ross energy drinks. They make those? <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Jeremiah. It would be Jeremiah. <laughs> uh, add white or silver. I don't think it's time for white or silver yet. It's a uh... 
happy little tree over here. Hey, Brentwood in the house. <laughs> She's like, I saw that food on Facebook. <laughs> yes, make some, Enrique. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, dang, babe. I see what you're doing now. Trying to block it, shape it a little bit. Uh -huh. So I'm going to bring you guys in closer so you can kind of see a little bit of what he's doing. Trying to sort of start shaping the landscape here. I'm going to move you guys that way so you guys can take a look. I just got this thing, but I feel like I have to put paint on it. I know. Because <laughs> it was too nice. So, guys. You always remember, if you're watching this, you all remember when this was done. Look. Bam. Dang, babe. Because it can't be perfect. Okay. I got you on video doing this, but I need to take a picture of you painting my painting. Painting my painting! Hey, should I come up here? This is a... Wow, look at you. Look at, look at his first... Look at his first attempt at making spread. <laughs> it's looking good. Good job. <laughs> you came to ask. Yeah, now you, babe, does he just leave it now? With what? Does he have to put a little bit more water? No, you, you don't want it wet. Now he just leaves it, right? Yeah. Oh, go, it's cooking? Yeah. Does he have to go cover it? What does he do now? Oh, wow. How come you didn't let the noodles cook? You needed to let the noodles cook first. Your video wasn't very explanatory. <laughs> Literally, you showed yourself pouring water and that's it. And it wasn't even hot water. It was literally just the jug with the tab. You pushed it and you didn't even show if you warmed it up or not. These noodles are all crunchy. <laughs> okay, just put a little bit more, just a little bit more hot water and put it in the microwave now, babe. You <laughs> <laughs> messed up. <laughs> Poor kid. That's Abraham, guys. That's the Abraham we're always talking about. It's good. He should know how to. He should not know how to make spread. Yeah, that's a good thing he doesn't know how to make spread. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Ricardo Guerra. He's like, cook it in a bread bag. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I gotta step back. Guess... You gotta look at it from here. Look, that looks good. Oh snap! It's starting to look like a slope. Yep, that looks good. It's yeah. sloping down. I'm gonna wash it again. Looking good. Looking good, guys. Wow. I'm just really excited, guys. That he's finally, it's been, this canvas has been sitting around for a whole year almost. You guys, if you guys have been with us since last year, then you know when I got this canvas because I talked about it last year. Roseanne, we never, we, we don't usually always eat this late, so forgive us. We had, um, I worked. I worked this morning till this afternoon. Then we had a, a meeting with um, with our covering, our church covering, and and about with about 200 pastors today. Um, and then uh, then I had to go to my office to drop off some some documents and some work, and we ran some errands. And then we came back and immediately rushed to have a meeting with our leadership and then got some stuff done here at home and then 
David went into painting and I was like, you know, I'm going to record you. And since, since he was going to do it, we just went ahead and went live. And here we are with all of you. Very thankful and grateful that you guys are all here with us. It looks really good, man. Yeah, it's getting yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's getting there. You're sloping. It, it looks like it's sloping down the way it is there. So whoever's out of state here, it must be really late wherever you're at. <laughs> have you guys seen these that I have on the website? I have this one on the website, on the, and then I have this one on Moses. You know, the trip is these, these are uh, G Clay reproductions. The originals were on a, a tile brick. Actually, well, you have a tile one right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is the original. I went to uh, Home Depot. This is a top brick, like you put in your kitchen or something. Yeah. That's the original. And I have these, a limited edition of these made. This is um, it's like a professional paper. Hi, brother Abel. Abel from Visalia. Visa. Visalia. It's two o'clock in the morning in Bronx, New York. You're from the Bronx? <laughs> Dang. Why does it look like the phone's crooked? Is it? It is. <laughs> because I have I have one leg. Oh. One leg off and one leg on. <laughs> Who's from the Bronx? Um Ava. Oh Ava. Ava. Uh huh. Oh she's on there. Mm -hmm. From the Bronx. Bye, Roseanne. Have a blessed, have a blessed night, sweetie. She's like, yes, sir. <laughs> have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Are you letting me taste it? Looking for a good. I'm scared that it's gonna be it's hot. It's not hot. It's the lemon juice. Oh, oh, that's good. Try real quick. I don't want no more though. I guess I guess I gotta use this. One. The boogie down, Jeremiah says. Boogie down, Bronx. It's 1 a.m. in Corpus Christi, Texas. Amy. Oh. Corpus wow. Christi. Anything for Salinas. Aww, I love that movie. So now. God, you guys, it's late. You guys should be in bed getting some rest. I use raw sienna, that light brown, and I put a little bit of burnt umber. It looks like poopy. And I'm going to slightly marble it. I don't want to completely mix it, but I'm going to marble it so the dark is here and there. And with that, what I'm going to start doing, see these um, like clumps of dirt? I'm going to just kind of lay a little bit out. I have a request. Can I give you a request? Hmm. I want texture on my painting. Are you going to do a lot of texture on it? I don't know. Not right now. Okay, not right now, but I want texture. Okay. Guys, trust me. I will not feel bad. We will not feel bad if you guys leave us because we're going to document this anyway. So it'll be available for you guys to watch tomorrow because we know it's late and we know a lot of you guys work. So regardless, we'll go ahead and record it. And that way it'll be here for you guys tomorrow. Because we definitely, definitely don't want uh, you guys to feel bad that you guys are, are getting off, okay? Saw a medical leave. What? Ava. So you get to sleep in, sis. I've I've been working from home, so I kind of I kind of wake up and I 
I need to add white. This is too rich. And I go straight to my computer and have my coffee at 8 o'clock in the morning. If you notice, I add white. I've been adding white to everything because... So you can make it lighter? It's too rich. That way, when I when at the very end, when I really start adding detail, then you use the colors rich. For now, no. That's pretty cool, though, that you're making the creek part. You can already tell that it's like a creek. Yeah? Yeah. And then if you got to go darker later, you just do your little darker details later, right? Yeah. fishing in there <laughs> no it wasn't use, in the picture this is a really cheap brush because it, the bristles are real stiff but it's gonna work for me because I need some this is the bristles are too soft so sometimes cheap brushes are good if you know what to use them for this is a really cheap like if you go to Michaels and they have like that pack of a whole set for like $5.99 they're really cheap they're, they're real rough but sometimes you need a rough brush. So just because a cheap brush is cheap doesn't mean it can't be used for a specific purpose, you know? There's no way. This is all, it looks like all brown. It's like dirt clods. But if you really look, there's dark, there's light, there's more darker. There's... So there's going to be layers upon layers that it'll start actually looking like dirt clumps. First, I'm going to sort of draw the shape of it. He hasn't even gotten to the ugly stage yet, guys. I'm still blocking. Yeah. I get quiet guys because I just I just love 
I'm, I'm like one of his biggest fans. I just love to sit here and just watch him. It's so, it's pretty cool. I know, I like to, huh? <laughs> Tony's on here. He's like, he's like, this is great. Go, this is great to go to sleep to. <laughs> Where's the ambient music? It's Tony. <laughs> Heart like Tony, Tony. Oh, Phoenix. Phoenix Tony. <laughs> He's like, where's the ambient music? <laughs> what what is the what is uh what do they always say? A little something like this, you know, and you gotta you gotta say stuff, babe. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. It's, I'm so close to it I can't tell yes, what I'm doing. Look. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay, yes. Keep going. Keep it's going. Good, what does is, what is Bob Ross say? He says, I'm going to put something like a little something here, a little yeah. something there. <laughs> I'm kind of breaking the rule because you're supposed to start dark first. I messed up. But, okay, it's good. So, he's blocking right now, guys. See? He's kind of blocking things in as he goes. Yeah. See the horse? The horse is having a meeting with all those animals. The one thing that I am going to have him add, though, I'm thinking somewhere around right there, maybe. Somewhere around there. Yeah, somewhere around there. Not there, but somewhere around right here. I want him to add this, um, this cow. I took a picture, this beautiful picture of a cow. And it's one of my favorite cow pictures that I have. Of that cow right here. So I took that picture of that cow quite some time ago. It's a little black cow and it's so cute. But I really want that little cow. I want a little cow in there. I want him to be added onto this picture somehow. So that is what I want to be added onto there. Here's raw umber. This is really dark brown. So I'm gonna add the dark first because I think Bob Ross said to do that first, actually. Is that where you learned that from? I think so. Wait, I went too far in. Okay, right there. Because it's really, and I've never worked on a canvas this big. In my living room, sis. I never worked on a canvas this big, so it's a little hard because I'm so close to it. I can't really see what I'm doing. I have to keep stepping back. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm way too close to it. I'm used to working on canvases a lot smaller, you know, where I can literally see the whole canvas, but I'm so close to it. It's like watching a movie a foot away from the screen. You yeah. can't see what's happening. Yeah. And that's how I'm feeling right now, so. That's why I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get rid of that big old, this big old shelf right behind there. I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to, I'm going to make space for him here so he can set up a studio. We have an office. We have an office where we have both of our desks here. Um, but it, it's our office, so it's, it's not, you know, I don't think it's big enough to make a little studio for him. So it's hard for me to really see what I'm doing, but... That's really dark. It's supposed to be dark. It is? I just said I've got to do the dark first. Oh, okay. Man! Don't! Stop it! You just heard me say that! Babe, I'm going to beat you up in front of the camera. That'll just be evidence. <laughs> that's, all that, that's all that'll be. <laughs> uh... Jeremiah, if David paints the cow, it will be a holy cow. <laughs> yes, it will be a holy cow. How does but, he think of this stuff? I don't know. You have a very vivid mind. <laughs> Looks like the Central Valley. What's for breakfast in the morning? Probably some scrambled eggs. <laughs> David's making them. He'll make them for me while I work. 
I'll tell you exactly what he'll make me. He'll make me a scrambled egg with cheese on top, right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> I told you. That's all I. That's all he'll he'll make me like a scrambled. Just one scrambled egg is all I need. A tiny bit of cheese on top and a coffee, and I'll be happy. I really don't even eat breakfast. I wait. We kind of wait till like really late. I try not to eat till after eleven. Yeah, it'll be like eleven, twelve o'clock. Say good cows. God, eight of you are still up. There's sixteen peepers still watching. No, no papas. No, you want to know? I've I've gained like more than 16 pounds throughout this pandemic i'm done no more papas for me that's it with all the carbs i didn't get corona but i got fat <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah we kind of gained weight during this time and i was doing so good too This is the time when we need to be even more healthier and our immune system needs to be stronger in everything. Like seriously. So I seriously gotta get back on track. <laughs> so right now, you're still blocking, right? Yeah, what I'm doing is all the reverse. I'm doing all the shadows so any anything that's dark like if I squint my eyes I'm just trying to paint oh, wait, do that if again. I squint my eyes <laughs> I see dark stuff so I'm just painting that that's it. it it ain't gonna look good it's gonna look ugly but that's just the way you do it look <laughs> what hi Tony look at this big old dark it just it's just a big dark shadow. Yeah. And if you imagine that shadow just being nothing, it, it's just a big blotch. That's what I'm Tony, doing. Tony, right he says, when I was in Patterson in 83, La Migra rolled up. A family was hiding me in the basement because they thought I was illegal. <laughs> and you just hid in there? You just stayed there? Were you just being obedient? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a good kid. Well, you were such a good kid. He's a Jeremiah. He's a that he's calling himself Gordo. Glory to God. <laughs> we're not Gordos. We're Fluffy, okay, brother Fluffy. He's like, yeah, he was being obedient. He didn't know. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> well, praise God, brother. You're an obedient, you're obedient, obedient, you were an obedient young man. Whoa, that's a really dark spot. That's really dark. I've never had Joe's Crab Shack. I've heard about it. I know. have. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, David has. Yeah. But I haven't. He answered that quick. I have. That was the first time I tried crab. I was in, was it Phoenix or San Antonio? You have to keep going up and down because... I was in Phoenix. I was with Duke from Darkroom Family. We went over there to have a meeting with our distributor. We had two distributors that put our stuff nationwide. Uh, Associated, which was in Phoenix and City Hall, which was in San Rafael. So we were always, maybe every three months, we we're going to Phoenix. And um, I like seafood, but I was very limited because I grew up with like fish and chips. <laughs> and it was Jose Duke. He's the one that introduced me to some finer seafood. And that first time oh was God. that. <laughs> the first time was actually Joe's Crab Shack. He's like, dude, try these uh, crab legs, the snow crab legs. I'm like, man, those look like spider legs. And um, Michelle, she's like, we went to the one in Phoenix. My dad was paying. 
So, uh, <laughs> so my first time I ever had crab snow crab legs was in the Phoenix Joe's Crab Shop. I don't even remember where it's at. I just know it's in Phoenix. Yeah, they said it's in Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. My old distributor was there, so I was always in Phoenix. You know what? I have an unpaid ticket in Phoenix. If I get pulled over, I'm going to jail. I do. I have a warrant. Are you serious? Well, here's the thing. When when you come out of the feds, they... That's not something I want to hear right now. Are you serious? It was just a traffic violation, like a $200 ticket. Then how come you didn't take care of it? I just remembered right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you guys. He obviously all of a sudden had a revelation that he had a ticket. So now you got to look into that. Maybe. Because I don't want to go to Phoenix and end up... I'll leave you. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm leaving him there, you guys. Is no, isn't there a statute of limitations? Hard leg, Tony. He's all pending. Huh? I don't know. I have no idea. It was just a traffic stop. I think I didn't make a complete stop. I did a California stop. Get it? California. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Haha. You're so funny. I should take care of that. Yeah, let's find out. Handle it, baby. Handle it. Okay, I can't see what I'm doing. Alright, you wanna look at it? Okay. Actually I Is that is that the ugly stage now? Yeah, let's get into the ugly okay, stage. Okay, it's getting to the ugly stage, guys. So, I'm going to sit. My back's hurting. But I think that's all I'm going to do today. Um, basically, I'm trying to form where the... Where the... Where the, there's dirt clods and stuff. He says grass. they love to hold grudges here in Arizona. So, I think you need to look into it. Because if they like to hold grudges, you should look into it. Well, here's the thing. I I, can I see me? Yeah. In the feds, when um, if you do good in the feds, your last six months, you get to do it at a halfway house. Of course, you can't be a child molester, rapist, things like that. But if you're a regular crime, um, you can do your last six months at a halfway house, but they run your name. A nationwide, they run it. And if you have a warrant, you cannot be at a halfway house. So they ran my name. And nothing showed nothing up. Nothing showed up. So I went to the halfway house. But when I got out and I was at my parents' house, because that's where I released to, maybe a year later or six months later, I got a, a paper saying I owed that. A bill? A bill. So maybe um, it wasn't a warrant because they wouldn't have let me go to the went into house. collections. Then. Yeah. It went into collections, so maybe you just got to take care of the collections. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Does Phoenix need the money? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird how I forgot about that. Yeah. I think I'm done here. We were the last to get a MLK day in the story. LOL. Oh, well. oh, that's right. What is L? What does that mean? Arizona would not acknowledge Martin Luther King Day. All 49 states did except Phoenix. Really? Yeah, and then when Angel was working census over there, they, they treated uh, Latinos so bad because he was over there in Tucson, close to the border. And um, it was just bad. He got pulled over a lot treated like he was illegal and he's like what are you talking about I'm like I got my senses badge and they're like oh, that doesn't mean nothing mm. in perfect English wow. what's up with AZ man so I think I'm done guys I'm, I'm I can't do too much at once especially when I'm blocking I have to see it with 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 fresh peepers Yep, fresh peepers, guys, and it's getting late. Y'all got to go to sleep already. Why are you talking like you're a Texan? Go to bed. <laughs> you're all y'all. So, guys, um, 
No, he doesn't have a warrant, A.B. <laughs> he's like, my online pastor has a warrant? Who? <laughs> A.B. He's like, my online pastor has a warrant? <laughs> I have an old unpaid traffic ticket. He has an old unpaid Here's traffic ticket in collections. I went to prison for six years. I couldn't pay it. All right. What? Good excuse. Um... So the next stage, whenever I do, is this all this br brushery. What what's the word for it? Shrubbery, shrubbery, Shrub shrubbery. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a bunch of trees away back here. That's what's next, but I couldn't do it because all the blue is still wet. So all this shrubbery is next, and then I I gotta actually do this tree, the main, the thick mm -hmm. branches. Yeah, That's it's cool to watch, huh, guys? Like seriously, it yeah. is cool to watch. So I gotta. All the shrubbery here, all the way across, and then it looks like this tree, like it's like the main big branches. I'm gonna do that. That's what's next. Animals will be last, right? Animals will be last, yeah. But what about the horses? The horses behind the tree. He's still gonna be last. Well, here's the thing. I'm painting the tree, but again, remember I say, not in full detail. Oh, okay. But here's the thing. I I gotta draw the main branches so I can kind of know where the horse is gonna be. Oh, okay. So, because this looks like it's like a like the real thick branch right here. Amen. That's what that's what I say, uh, right Ava. Here. I say God, God, God got it covered. He took care of it. Amen. She's talking some Bronx wisdom. <laughs> so, if we go to New York. Can you give us a tour? Because I have no idea where I would be over there. I know, neither would I. The furthest I've ever been is to Chicago. Because like, I want to see New York, but I want to see the real New York. Not the touristy. Well, I do want to see the touristy stuff too. Mixed with... Because you know how people come to San Francisco? See, <laughs> I'm the greatest. I sound like Muhammad Ali. I am the best San Francisco tour in the world. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta agree that he's an amazing San Francisco tour person. Most people come to San Francisco, they do this. They go to Golden Gate Bridge and Fisherman's Wharf. That's it. Coit Towers, the Crooked Street. Oh, they the go to all, Street. they go to all the, all the basic tour sites um and everything and i'm like we're gonna go to those spots but then we're gonna go to real san francisco yeah you know there's areas that people don't even know about that this beautiful. guy will take us to that is just beautiful 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 places that people don't even go to and they're just amazing yeah. and then on top of that you're gonna have an amazing photo shoot that i'm gonna do for you guys there <laughs> so it'll be fun yeah, so, um, but that's how I want to tour like that in, in New York. I want to, I want to see it. I want to see everything. I want to see it all. Amen. Amen. That'll be Amen. awesome. Well, guys, I pray that you guys have an amazing night. Get some sleep. Uh, we already put out the um, devotional for tomorrow morning. We pray that you guys are blessed. And we really do want to take you guys through this whole process of this, of this painting like I said, this painting is very, very special to me because it, it it just it really spoke to me when I took this picture. And to be the fact that this place doesn't even exist anymore, it's even more special, you know. And it was one of the first pictures that I took when I moved out here um, to come pioneer and be here with with David and uh, and be part of his life. So. It means a lot to me, and I'm happy that I'm I'm able to share it with you guys. Mm -hmm. That we're able to share this moment together. Any other words, babe? Good night, guys. We love you guys. Love you. Thank you for hanging out with us. We love hanging out with you guys. Hello from the Mile High City. Nice to see you guys. You're a blessing. Thank you, Michelle Michelle Romero. Is that what's the is that Salt Lake City? Or, no, Denver. Denver? Denver, right? Is that Denver, Michelle? Good night, Michelle and Tony. Good night. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thanks for hanging out with us.
Thanks for calling us chubbies. <laughs> <laughs> we could all be chubbies together. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Ava. God bless you, sis. Did they say C? Uh, oh, she said Michelle Romero, C. Denver. Denver. Uh huh. I've been there once. Okay. Mm -hmm. Denver was cool. Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there too. Yeah. Yeah, I I really where we went to was where the uh, where that really popular ski, the ski places. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I went there. I went to do a concert. And then, uh... I can always see half of your face. <laughs> oh. The airport was so far away, like half an hour or so away from the city. It looked like a circus from mm -hmm. far away. It's, it's like this weird shape. And then we drive into Denver. And, um... I did a concert close to Federal. I guess that was a cruising strip back then. Mm -hmm. A lot of people used to cruise. And I was there for one day. I flew in, did the concert next morning flew out did you ever get tired of that of that life of... i didn't do that many concerts no no so it was fun yeah because i didn't I, was, uh, I didn't do that many you didn't do out of state but you did a lot of local stuff huh uh not that much no no so you guys i know a lot of people think that i that i know a lot about my my husband's past stuff but i actually don't i never really talk to him too much about what he did or I never really asked much I only do concerts like every every month every month and a half so so it was something to look forward to actually it was fun yeah Michelle you know what I would definitely love to go out there again that's something I think Colorado's definitely mm -hmm. you know it's so funny because before I even met David I was telling David that I was going to move to Colorado that Colorado was actually on my list to move to. I was wanting, I was wanting to leave California, and I was going to, but the Lord had different plans for me, and that's where I was actually gonna, I was gonna move to to Colorado because I actually had family out there. But I'm here, <laughs> and now He's painting me this beautiful painting. Every Friday cruising, no more, no more now. No? No. Is she old enough to know that those was cruising back then, or is she younger? Are you, are you, what age group are you in? The reason I say because <laughs> they outlawed cruising here a long time ago. She said her husband was stationed in Oakland in 90. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's tel, tel, Telluride? Huh? Heart Life Tony said Telluride. What is that? Telluride? Yeah, what is that? Telluride. Oprah has a house in the ski resort. Oh, is that what it's called? Okay, I took lots of pictures, but I didn't know what it was called. That's the that's the reason why I went all the way to Chicago, because I wanted to see Oprah's studio. Really? Mm-hmm. That's oh, why. Oh, well, she's from Chicago. Yeah, that's why I went all the way that's to. Right. I went to go see her studio, and I took pictures in front of it and everything. I forgot about that. I went all the way over there just to see that. Yep, because I wanted to go up there just for that. I was back then, man. I just wanted to. I, I liked Oprah back then. <laughs> yeah, Chicago. Pretty cool. All right, babe. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. We love you guys. I gotta wash my brushes. Have a good See night. See you mañana. Good night. I'll let you guys log off so that way I don't feel bad. Yeah, we did. We found a family in all you guys, Michelle. We're blessed. We're absolutely blessed with all you guys. But you guys, you guys get off first so we don't feel bad. I remember when I was uh, dating David, I, I would tell him, hang up. He'd be like, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. So get off, guys. <laughs> I feel bad letting you guys go. Man, just end it. <laughs> go. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Alright, I'm gonna watch this. Alright, how do I end it? What do I do? Where?
बाय गाइज बाय 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 बाय